Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build price and option the 2018 Buick Encore Essence. We're going to do the Essence. We'll look at all the trim levels, but we're going to build price and option the Essence. Okay, I think it's the smartest one. Let me tell you why. But before I do that, really fast, if you find this build and price review helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it. All right. Now, for 2018, the Encore is unchanged. They've, they haven't done anything new for it, added anything new. It's carried over from last year. All right. Here's why I recommend, recommend the Essence. It offers heated seats, a heated steering wheel, uh, leather seating, a few extra safety items, and a more powerful 153 horsepower motor. Well, it's an option anyway. And I think it's a good, I think it's a good, smart buy. All right, with that said, let's jump into this. How is it going to work? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over this whole page and get a real good overview and get a real deep understanding of what all is an Encore. What's it all about? Learn the standard features, the options, the specs, the tech, all of that stuff. And then when we get through to that, we're going to click the build and price. And then we're going to build and price that essence. And then I'm going to save that PDF because normally when you build a car, except for on the Honda website thus far, um, when you get done building that, you can save the PDF and download it to your computer. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to upload it to Mediafire. That's a file sharing site that I use. And then that's going to give me a link. And I'm going to put that link in the description below. So if you like the spec on this uh, 2018 Buick Encore that we're about to build here in a few, uh, then that's where you can find the where you can find the, the data on that. All right, so this is a compact SUV. Uh, it comes in a few colors. They've got a graphite gray, a blackberry cherry, uh, summit white, coastal blue, ebony twilight, quicksilver metallic. This one looks good. Copper Tino, that's clever. Instead of Cupertino, like California, Copper Tino, clever. Um, white frost. I like that. I like that definitely more than I like the summit. Oh, look, that's a high end color. Cause did you see the bottom, the bottom, the bottom, that's a premium color. That's not a premium color. So is this a premium color? No. So just the white frost tri coat. Wow. They, or maybe they just changed the cladding. Maybe it looks like a different shade of gray. Still nice. I like that. So that was the white frost. And then there's this winterberry red. Okay, kind of glossed over that and didn't want to do that. All right, so they've got a few trims. They've got an Encore 1SV, and here's some highlights. This one's got an available built-in Wi-Fi. That tells you the word available lets you know that is not a standard option. It's got the 1.4 liter engine. It's the we it's the the lesser powered engine of the two. It's got an enhanced 4.2 driver information center. I think that's in the instrument cluster right between the speedometer and all that. Keyless open and start. That's cool for twenty two for twenty three thousand uh, dollars. Now, if you get the preferred, it's got all of that plus the rear cargo cover and a front and rear color keyed floor mats, right? And what's okay? That was too far. <laughs> and then the Sport Touring, right, has all the features of these two because they keep adding to it, right? Or they keep yeah they keep adding to it. This one gets exclusive eighteen wheels. It gets a remote vehicle starter system, and now it has fog lamps. And you can see the fog lamps right here. Not available on this trim. Not available on that trim. And these two trims have the same wheels. Now this one's got a different set of wheels on it. Uh, this one's the Sport Touring. Uh, one up from that is the Preferred 2 group, which gives you the rear cross traffic alert, the side blind zone alert, and the dual zone automatic climate control. Nice jump up, but we're not quite there yet. We like the Essence. It's the one we're going to build out. We're going to keep going down this page, but we're just kind of going over the trim so you kind of see where we're at right now. Um, so it gets all the Essence gets all the preferred two packaging, plus leather seats, plus heated driver and front passenger seats, plus a heated steering wheel. Right? You're you're looking at thirty grand for that. Probably at the dealer, you can find them for a little bit cheaper than that. So that's a lot of vehicle leather. All the tech, heated steering wheel. I mean, you're in it for 30 grand. That's tight. Then you got the premium. It's up just a skosh, right? It's got all those same features, but now you're in the Bose system. Bose is a nice system. I have not been in a car with a Bose system that has been a disappointment. They've all been good. You got the rain sensing wipers, and you got the front and rear park assist. That's the premium. 
So, you know, the reality is, is you're only, they're $900 apart, these two cars. At the dealer, I could probably go to, all, I could probably go to a, a, a popular website right now and find these for both, maybe a smidge under that. So they're really good cars, I think, that, and a great price. Um, let's see, luxurious interior. Uh, I just like the Buicks, I think. I'm real, I like them. I really do. Uh, the interior of the 2018 Encore offers premium comfort with available leather-appointed front seats. Okay, leather-appointed front seats. They were real specific. So I guess the backs have some kind of faux leather deal. I don't know. Uh, Dual-zone automatic climate controls and a spacious, flexible cargo area. Now, if I click Explore Interior, or I'm sorry, Exterior, or yeah, Interior, where does that take us? It takes us here. Maybe we should, let's back up. Let's back up. I think we're good here. Let's back up. Let's take a look at these things, and then maybe we can get over to that because I saw there was a few other ribbons there, and I want to kind of go in order. So this gives us an overview of the interior, and we might not need to go any further than that. We'll see. Uh, the sleek design, balanced proportions, give this compact SUV a beautiful, sleek profile. It is nice. Uh, got a lot of safety, comprehensive safety. Yeah, we will explore that other page because they're clicking these links for all that other stuff it's, which resides on that other page. We will get into it because this is an in-depth review for people who might really be actually looking for this car. All right, Buick Encore earned a five-star overall vehicle safety score for safety, giving you the peace of mind to enjoy the open road. Uh, Built-in 4G, that's available, right, for a hotspot, responsive performance. I like that. Uh, delivers performance with standard 1.4 turbo engine, agile handling, and available all-wheel drive. Uh, so we can explore the connectivity and explore the performance. Uh, before, yeah, let's let's jump over to these ex these ribbons. And so they've got several of them. Let's start back over here at exterior, okay? And then give us more details about the exterior. So sleek, athletic look, uh, premium LED lighting. Uh, it's available advanced headlights, right? That's available. That is not standard equipment. And taillights echo the front, right? Sculptural design. We don't need to learn more about that. You got this little cute stainless exhaust tip. You got uh, some standard 18-inch 10-spoke wheels uh, with the light argent finish. Uh, Complement the Encore's compact SUV's enhanced styling. Uh, it's not a bad-looking wheel. It's not a bad-looking wheel. Uh, these seats look good. Power moonroof. Uh, what other features? Oh, they had a performance ribbon. Do we miss that? Or is it going backwards? Ah, it's going backwards. We'll just go backwards. It's fine. Performance. Save every twist and turn. All right. Tell us a little more about these motors. So it's got 138 horsepower. I don't know if you're going to be savoring every turn with a, with under 140 horsepower, but maybe it's super peppy. I don't know. It's got 148 pound-feet of torque. We're going to have to look into the specs, and we will, because I want to see when this engine make what RPMs this engine makes this horsepower, and really what hor what engine RPMs it makes this peak torque. It's really important. So we'll check that out before we do the build. Um, All-wheel drive. That's available. It's not standard. And if you do get it, <clears throat> Seems like it features an electro electronic limited slip diff that transfers powers between wheels, right? It's going to transfer power to the wheel that is getting the most traction. Um, Stability track offers stability uh, control systems, uh, agile handling. Yeah, I'm sure it's tight turning radius. It's a very small vehicle. Um, let's go to connectivity because we just came from exterior. So connectivity is going to be like our tech. Uh, Apple CarPlay. It says available. All right, so not standard. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, 4G LTE, Buick Infotainment System. You can make hands-free calls, access your favorite Sirius XM radio stations uh, via this uh, infotainment system, plus get directions and beat traffic with available built-in navigation. Uh, there's the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto stuff. These are proprietary systems. What I mean by that is it doesn't matter what manufacturer that these systems are in. They all look the same because Apple controls that and Android controls how they are displayed in cars. So that's why I don't spend a lot of time talking about them. But And so you can do the standard stuff. Make your calls, send messages, Google Maps, play music. You can do all that. Series available. Uh, cool stuff. You got your navigation uh, system. That's an available system. It gives you real-time traffic data, da-da-da-da. Rear vision camera. Now, is that standard? I didn't see the word available. 
the rear vision camera produced it didn't say the available rear vision camera it said the the uh, <laughs> rear vision camera so that's cool if that's standard equipment we will find that out uh, built-in 4g lte wi-fi hotspot yep my buick app that's going to allow you to do what start your car lock and unlock doors every manufacturer's got this standard app these days why would buick be any different and there's nothing wrong with it that's good stuff buick connected services they have buick smart driver vehicle diagnostics unlimited remote access vehicle uh remote vehicle start that's really cool um safety what do they have for safety uh it's got 10 standard airbags and available advanced safety technologies side blind zone alert uh forward collision uh alert lane departure warning and that's available this is also available this is available right that's an option uh rear cross traffic alert i think that was standard that was standard on the base model wasn't it i think it was because it doesn't say yeah available i guess it's not uh that's too bad i like cars when they have a lot of the tech standard that lets you tell that tells you something about the company i think i don't know whatever what do i know i still like buick uh with available on star by your side right so you got the whole on star deal uh and then i think interior is the last one because we started on exterior Oh, yeah, we started on exterior. Let's take a look. It's spacious and well-designed. I like it. I really like Buicks, right? Because Buick, where do they fit? They fit between Chevrolet and Cadillac. There you have Buick slotted in between that. So on your way up to your Cadillac, you can snatch a Buick. I like it. Heated steering wheel, leather. It certainly looks leather wrapped. So yeah, standard leather wrapped steering wheel or opt for the available heated steering wheel for an extra layer of warmth and comfort. Is there a heads up display though? Uh, heated driver and front passenger seats, keyless open and start. I love Buicks, I really do. Flexible storage, quiet tuning. What is that? Technology combines triple door ceiling, acoustic laminated glass, and specific suspension tuning to block unwanted noise and give you an enjoyable quiet interior i think that's cool i like that uh climate control available dual zone right mm. and yeah those are all those let's take a look at the specs let's take a look at the specs really fast and the specs i want to look at is i want to take a look at the base model what was the base model um i guess that is the preferred right let's look at that and I just want to see what's standard I don't know where you are in the price point of this for this review you might not be looking at an essence that's thirty thousand dollars maybe you maybe that five thousand dollars is a difference so by looking at the cheapest one we can see what is the base stuff that comes in this car all across the board uh, so this engine with the 1.4 all right now all right that's good now it makes its horsepower yeah high up into the rev band right 4900 to 6000 rpms that's where you're hitting the, hitting this but this is your real world power right here your torque when you step on the gas and it makes your head snap back that's torque that you're feeling and this is a turbocharged motor that's making it nicely making it from low 1850 rpms that's basically just off idle and it holds that that peak torque all the way up to basically 5000 rpm so yeah it probably does feel pretty sporty that's what i wanted to know about the other thing i want to know about is we're going to add the essence simply because i want to look at that other engine because i wanted to option that two liter motor and i don't know if they're going to show it if i just show the preferred so i'm still only paying attention to the preferred stuff though uh, I'm not going to stop to read everything. I'm just looking at notable stuff. So Bluetooth is standard. What kind of Bluetooth? Pair your mobile phone to your vehicle's infotainment system. Uh, Bluetooth. So can you stream? Yep, streaming audio. So while you don't have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, see that tech stuff's important. That's why I dig. You do get Bluetooth streaming. And for me, I'd be satisfied with that. That works for me. Um, no bows lane departure warning that's i'm not really looking standard okay so the built-in 4g wi-fi they said available when we were reading the information yet it's a standard even on the base model so okay um see that's why it's worth checking this serious satellite stuff is standard because you get like a trial subscription that's why that is um mechanical uh here's that other engine this is that other engine and then we can get out of here 
this is that other engine that because this is the one we're going to option 153 horsepower right 5600 rpms it does that it makes 177 pound feet of torque versus this one is 148 pound feet of torque and it's making its torque at 2000 to 4000 this one actually has a fatter torque curve honestly got a fatter tor torque curve i'd be interested to drive the the base model engine to be honest with you i really would be interested to b drive the base model engine and then hop in the hop in this upgraded motor so i'll have to think about that let's go back that's all i really want to see on that and let's go to build and price we're ready okay so we've already looked at the uh, you know when we were scrolling on the first page we already looked at the highlights of these other trim levels so i'm going to kind of just go right on by those and yeah, get right here to the essence, right? We already know what that includes, right? Just to reiterate, it's highlight features, leather wrap seats, he, uh, heated driver and front passenger seats, six-way power adjustable front passenger seat, heated steering wheel, memory setting for the driver, and it's got LED headlights. That's cool, right? That's cool. I know a lot of manufacturers, boy, they're going to charge you extra money for that. You're not going to get that, the, the LED headlights. Um... We are going to spend the, the $3,000, basically, the $2,900. We're going to spend the $2,900 on the four-wheel drive. I think it's ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous to get an SUV. I don't care if it's a small one or otherwise. That's not all-wheel drive. I mean, it's just worth the three grand, period. Uh, now, this engine doesn't seem to be a – it seems to be a no-cost option. Oh, it says may require additional uh, equipment. Yeah, see, that's what it was. This is what it is. Check this out. Now, they make a big deal about this being a stop-start technology. And there's another Buick. I can't remember the name of it. And it has the same engine. I really liked it And until I heard this. You can't turn it off. This car automatically shuts itself with start-stop technology. It automatically does it. And from what I had read, correct me if I'm wrong with a comment below, but you can't defeat it you can't turn it off it it always works and so i don't like that you know bmw mercedes and other manufacturers they do it too but they at least give you the option to turn that feature off because i don't like it it feels very unnatural to me so you know what and i don't really care for this torque curve i don't think it's that fantastic to be honest with you so and i'm gonna save my 895 so we're gonna cancel on that we're gonna keep the base engine my gut instinct says that base engine's probably just fine. Just fine. Uh, so let's go to colors. Um, remember that white frost? That was nice. Let's look at that white frost again. Let's do the white frost. That's a, So instead of, instead of doing that engine, we'll do the white frost, right? We'll do the white frost instead. Uh, that was a premium color. For the interior, uh, let's look at these photos really fast. See if they show us all. Do we get a shot of the back? I don't think we've seen it. It's cute enough, isn't it? It's cute enough. Let's get to the interior. Give us a better interior shot. There we go. That's cute, isn't it? That is stadium seating. See how that's, or however they call that, it's raised in the back. This is a nice vehicle. I really like Buicks. Uh, we're going to go with the black leather pointed seats. Uh, what kind of packages are there? The Buick Interior Protection Package. That's all-weather floor mats and a cargo area all-weather floor mat. Oh, more stuff? No, that's it. Um, I want to look at all the packages first before we select anything. Got the power moonroof. What's, what's this active package? Cargo area tray. I'm not going to put a hitch on this thing. Road trip package? Okay, so um, looks like these are just basically like accessory pieces. All-weather floor mats and all-weather cargo mat. I like that stuff anyway. Yes. Yes, I want that. Select it. What's the experience Buick package? That's two grand. Power moonroof. Buick infotainment system with Navig. Yeah, I'm 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 in it, man. I'm in it. I'm not buying this I'm I'm not optioning this car for a price point. I'm optioning this car for if you get a Buick, here's how to get a really nice one. I like this one. I like this one. Let's do this package. Uh oh, we gotta remove that. Oh, it comes with the infotainment system, right? And and you get a different set of wheels, right? Gotcha, gotcha. Boom, we'll do that. Hopefully it updates the wheels. It did. That looks fun. I just want to go down to the Buick dealership and go test drive this because I'm really curious about that engine. It's got the active package. We don't need to worry about that. The road trip package. Well, we already got the all-weather uh, floor mats. The only difference is it has the roof rack rails. Well, guess what? You can get that 
at the parts department. That's just, you know, you can go to the parts counter at the Buick dealership and pick that up. That's just an accessory at the end of the day. So let's go to the exterior, see what they got. Uh, we already got those cool wheels. Uh, Six-speed automatic transmission. This is standard with that engine. This is a different transmission with that other engine. No, no, no. We're not, we're not selecting it. We're not selecting it. Uh, we don't need an engine block heater. What's an oil pan heater? Do we need that? No. We don't need that because my car is going to be in the garage. Uh, exterior options, right? Those same old things. The roof rack cross rails. If you really wanted those, you can grab those for 245 right now, right? Boom, now you got it. Uh, but I don't like those. Boy, they're really tall and ugly. Uh, you got the front and rear splash guards. That's going to protect like from road tar and stuff kicking up down here and messing your car up. Got to get that. The wheel lock kit. It's just cheap. Um, yeah, helps safeguard your wheels on your vehicle from getting stolen. It's just cheap insurance or security for 70 bucks. Uh, and then let's. what do they got for the interior? Uh, the Buick Infotape. We already have that. Um, do we want this Bose speaker system? It's only 600 bucks. Yeah. As long as they don't make us remove a system. Perfect. Premium all-weather floor mats. We don't need the premium. We already got that other package. The cargo net, the cargo tray. We, we got that other package. We don't need that. Accessories. This is all stuff that you can buy, and it's to taste. So we're not going to worry about bike racks and stuff like that. So Or any of this stuff. Entry systems, dealer installed. I don't think we need that. Electronic stuff, we don't need that. Uh, the grill, a dealer installed accessory. Paint to match. Looks like they have some... What is that? What is that? Grill. Oh, that's very stylish. Ebony Twilight Metallic Surround. Albalone White Surround. Winter. Okay, gotcha. Now, what's the difference between these two? Now, what's this one for 350 Grill with black. Grill in black with ebony twilight metallic surround. And then what was this one? Grill in black with paint to match surround. Okay, ebony twilight or paint to match. Let's do the ebony twilight. Let's do the ebony twilight. Uh, can we get an exterior photo? I don't know if they showed that. It does kind of look dark around this outside. A uh, lot of car for the money. Molding appliques, no, we don't need that. Uh, floor mats, interior protection stuff, no, we're good. Waxes, no, we're good. Okay, we're at the summary. So, must be a discount on this car because, uh, okay, no, it's not. Standard price, $30,600. Select the color, that cost us nine ninety five. That was that uh, white frost tricoat. Ebony black leather, no cost option. We had some packages, 2500 bucks. The Buick interior protection package and the Experience Buick package. All right. Uh, we had some options of nine hundred thirty-five dollars. Uh, the wheel kit, the front and rear splash guards, the bows. Okay. Uh, so out the door with tax, title, license, blah 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 blah. They've got all these net prices and discounts, but it looks like the car was before any discounts. Looks like the car is thirty-six thousand ninety. They got a net price up here after discounts of thirty-two thousand three ninety. The reality is that the dealer, you might have a hard time finding this car completely option like this. You'd probably have to order it, which is fine. Which, But that might not be, you might not get it at that discount price. They probably have Encore's Essences sitting at the dealer right now for probably a good price for less than that, right? But not optioned as beautifully as this one, and that's why you want this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to print this, and I'm going to download it. I'm going to put a link in the description. And so if you like this 2018 Buick Encore all-wheel drive Essence, you can download it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Thanks for joining me. And uh, please like, share, and subscribe if you found this content helpful. Have a great day.